Good morning student. Today we are just going to study differential equation of simple harmonic motion. Actually in examination that is as far as more point of view is concerned. Always there is a question that define linear simple harmonic motion. Define linear simple harmonic motion and hence set up the differential equation for linear simple harmonic motion. So already we have seen what is linear simple harmonic motion? Linear simple harmonic motion it is a linear periodic motion. It is a linear periodic motion of a body. Linear periodic motion of a body in which the force or acceleration, force or acceleration is always directed towards the mean position. It is always directed towards the mean position. And its magnitude is, that is magnitude of force at acceleration, is directly proportional to Displacement of a body measured from mean position. A linear periodic motion of a body in which force or acceleration is always directed towards the mean position. Force or acceleration it is always directed towards the mean position and its magnitude that is magnitude of force and acceleration is always directly proportional to displacement of body measured from mean position means force it is directed towards the mean position while displacement is measured away from the mean position means force and displacement they are oppositely directed hence we can say that when f is proportional to x it means f is equal to minus k into x where this k is constant of proportionality known as force constant. Negative sign indicates that force and displacement they are oppositely directed. So here we are having one of the equations which is used to represent linear simple harmonic motion of a body. Means if any body is performing linear ascension then the force acting on a body performing linear ascension it is given by equation F is equal to minus K into X. Now according to Newton's second law of motion what Newton's second law of motion says that according to Newton's second law of motion if M is the mass of body and A is acceleration of a body then the force acting on body is equal to mass into acceleration. Force acting on body is equal to what? Mass into acceleration. By definition, acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity. Acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity. That is A is equal to dv by dt. Again, velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement. Velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement. If x is the displacement, then the rate of change of displacement will represent velocity. Now, acceleration is equal to, I will write d dt of. Now, in place of velocity, I will write dx by dt. So, d dt of dx by dt. And as you know, d dt of dx by dt, it can be written as d2x by dt square d2x by dt square now put the value of a equal to d2x by dt square this equation f becomes equal to m into d2x by dt square f is equal to m into d2x by dt square so this is equation number 2 it is also representing the force acting on a particle performing linear section. Also the force is given by F is equal to minus Kx. Now we are having the two equations. 
that is equation 1 and equation 2. Their left hand side is same, that is force. Naturally, we can equate their right hand side. So, M into D2X by DT square is equal to minus K into X. M into D2X by DT square is equal to minus of K into X. Now, divide both the side by M. What happens if I divide it by M? Then here this M will cancel with M and we are left with D2X by DT square is equal to minus of K by M into X D2X by DT square equal to minus of K by M into X. Now this K by M is equal to omega square or omega is equal to under root of K by M. This omega is called angular frequency. Omega is called angular frequency and its unit is radian per second. Its unit is radian per second. You may think that we are just obtaining or deriving the equation for linear section. But why we are introducing omega? Remember here, omega is representing the phase of a particle performing linear section. So the differential equation for differential equation for linear simple harmonic motion it becomes equal to d2x by dt square plus k by m into x is equal to 0 d2x by dt square plus k by m into x is equal to 0 and we replace k by m by omega square so finally we will have d2x by dt square plus omega square into x is equal to 0 this is the expected differential equation for linear simple harmonic motion. So in board examination, there might be a question that state the differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion. State means you have to write either d2x by dt square plus k by m into x equal to 0 or one by right d2x by dt square plus omega square into x it has a weightage of half mark along with that additional part that explains the physical significance of terms involved in that equation now in the differential equation d2x by dt square it represents the acceleration of particle performing linear system k is fourth constant m is the mass of the particle and x represent displacement or omega represent the angular frequency means half mark for writing the standard differential equation and half mark for the physical significance of at least three physical quantities involved in the equation so here it completes the question for two marks or question for three marks that define linear simple harmonic motion it is a linear periodic motion of a body in which force or acceleration is always directed towards the mean position and its magnitude is directly proportional to displacement of a body from the mean position that is according to definition of linear system if f is the force and x is the displacement then f must be equal to minus of kx where k is force constant and negative sign indicates that force and displacement they are positively directed because force is acting towards the mean position while displacement is measured away from the mean position. According to Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to a force equal to mass into acceleration. But acceleration calculus by using calculus acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity. Velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement. So acceleration is nothing but d dt of dx by dt which is equal to d2x by dt square. Now replace the value of A this equation f becomes equal to m into d2x by dt square. Now equating the right hand side of equation 1 and 2, we will get the required differential equation that is d2x by dt square plus k by m into x equal to 0. But this k by m is equal to omega square or omega equal to under root of k by m. Here omega is known as angular frequency and we will have the required differential equation of linear system as d2x by dt square plus omega square into x equal to 0. This is all, this is all about differential equation of 
Layer simple thermal motion.